last video about this mini smart wireless switch. We introduced the simplest wiring method. Now we will go to the advanced tutorial. How to connect an external switch. One more control method. Let the switch better integrate into our daily life. Whenever we need to carry out wiring, we must remember to turn off the air switch to ensure our safety. Take out two short wires. Based on our simplest wiring method. Based on the four wires we connected on the left. We can see two ports marked S1 and S2. The two wires are connected to these two ports. Note that the wire here should be stuck above the patch. If it can't be stuck in, you must first loosen the screws. Complete the wiring of the smart switch end. We need to connect the external switch. Two wires. One must be connected to the L end. The other can be connected to L1 or L2. This determines whether your switch is turned on or off when it is turned down. After connecting the wires, we turn on the power. See the indicator light flashing. Let's try the external switch. Well, the effect is very good. In this way, all the wiring is done. Isn't it very simple? Let's take a look at some functions in the app. In this video, we learned how to connect an external switch. In the previous video, we also learned how to pair the phone with the mini smart switch. These controls are synchronized. There will be no confusion because you use different control methods. Let's learn the functions of the device in the mobile app. Click the upper left corner of the device control page. Select name. You can name it as you like. When voice control, control according to the actual device name. Click LAN control. If your home is disconnected from the internet, but the phone and the device are in the same network, you can still control it. Click eWeelink Remote. You can pair with eWeelink's 2.4 GHz Light Smart Remote Control. There are two different appearances. Both can be matched. If the remote control is not used, delete it here. Push notification. Offline alert. It alerts you when the device is offline. If it is a more important device, it is recommended to check these two options. You can know the status changes of the device. Logs is the device switch log. Want to know when the power is on and off. You can query the records here. Select network indicator. You can turn the indicator off or on. Power on state. There are three options. When powered on, the relay of the device works, turns on the light. When powered on, the relay of the device does not work, 
turns off the light. When powered on, the relay of the device returns to the last state. If the light is on before the power outage, after powering on, it is on. If the light is off before the power outage, after powering on, it is off. Inching settings. It is to change the toggle mode to momentary mode. You can set the interval time. Set the state to delayed on or delayed off. Speaker pairing. We choose Alexa here. It will prompt us how to control the device with voice. Alexa, turn on the smart light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the smart light. Okay. If you have not paired the speaker, you can click help. Follow the steps to pair the speaker. It supports a variety of speakers. For example, Google Home, Alice, SmartThings, Ift, Salute and other speaker assistants. Finally, there is timer control. This mini smart switch supports three types of timer control. Schedule. Timer. Loop timer. You can set it according to the actual situation. Now you have mastered all the methods of using the switch. As long as you have watched this video, you are already better than many people. You can connect, pair, and complete smart settings. Try it now.